Well, hello there. Welcome to Silver Nuts Garage. You're never going to guess who showed up. <sighs> Jones, where the hell have you been? Well, I'm a busy man. I'm like a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. Oh, <laughs> it just it never ends, brother. Now it's leaf season. you got to pick up leaves. It's just been busy. Been I'm busy. telling you. What, so what we got going on here with the old 70? Well, we talked about doing a video on tillets and carburetors. When we found this thing, it sat for 20-some years. And Harley, on, in 1970, Harley put two different carburetors on these bikes. They put a Tillotson and they put a Bendix. And anybody you talk to will say, take that Tillotson and throw it away. It does not have a, a bowl on it. It has a diaphragm down here, and it moves up and down with the accelerator pump, and that's what draws the gas in. And when we put this thing together, it would run, it would idle, but it would not take gas, and it would just spit and sputter and spit and sputter. I wanted to take it off there, and everybody told me, get rid of that Tillotson. I finally found a guy to rebuild it, now, why does everybody want to get rid of a tillotson? They, What's the story on that? They won't idle down. They don't like to idle down to where you get that the bump, the bump, the pump shovel sound. They want to fall on their face. So you got to keep them up about 1,000, 1,100 RPM so they don't fall on their face and sputter out. So I found a guy that rebuilt it. Um, and when I got it back from the thing run, no problem. This thing does not have return springs on it. So when you open the throttle, it stays open. It's got a solid throttle cable that runs down through the handlebars, comes around, and you have cruise control in 1970. If you want to slow down, you got, you got to throttle it down by hand. So we got it running. It was running good. Um, I walked away from it, didn't ride it for a week or two. And it started doing the same thing. And I thought, what in the world? Maybe I ought to get rid of this and put a Bendix on it. But I wasn't sure if the Bendix could use this throttle cable or not. So I took it to a guy, a uh, guy down in Marshallville called Arts Parts. Rest his soul. Our guy, somebody pulled out in front of him a couple years ago on his bike, on his paying head. And that, the rest is history. I took it to him. And he's noticed the Tillotson, and he says, have you ever had to tickle it? And I said, Art, what are you talking about? He says, oh, when them things set, that diaphragm gets stuck down there, and it doesn't want to work right. He said, there's a hole down here, and there's an atmospheric hole right down here. And he says, you take a matchstick, you turn the gas on, and you just push that up and down gently about three or four times and you'll hear the gas start to suck into the carburetor. Then it'll lubricate that diaphragm and it'll run fine. I did that and I've never had another problem. Now, my matchstick is right here. I got a piece of copper wire that I wrap around my frame right here. So when that thing sets for a while, I take that piece of copper wire off, I put it down in there and I find that hole the bottom of this thing's plastic too, by the way. I find that hole, and you push on it, you can hear it sloshing gas in. And that puts the gas into that carburetor. And it sure does, I just, I just saw it. Yep. Yep. And then it lubricates that diaphragm, and by golly, you can take off and run. As long as you don't let it set too long, a week or so, you don't have any problems. But, when this gives me props, starts giving me problems, the guy that rebuilt it, he's no longer around either, so I don't know if I would attempt to rebuild it or if I would go to the Bendix carburetor. If any of you guys out there know if a Bendix carburetor will bolt up to this manifold or not, let us know. So, that's right. That's the history of the Tillotson carburetor on that bike. I'm going to keep running it like that until it doesn't run good anymore. So. Now that's a uh, that's a push throttle, right? When you when you pull that throttle back to give it gas, it actually pushes the the uh, throttle cable. The throttle coming. cable. Yep. The solid throttle cable comes right through here. There are no return springs on that thing. You want to shut her down? You got to shut it down. 
Like I said, that's 1970 cruise control right there. Right. So, yeah, it, uh, for 54 four years old, she still runs pretty good. Carburetor's running good. Um, the only thing I'm gonna do this winter, I'm gonna take the front tire off, check the brakes. It's got the original brakes on the back from 1970. They're still good, the thing's only got Oh, about 13,000 miles on it. So, that's about all I'm going to do to her this winter. I'm going to try not to take any of the rust off or anything when we do take the wheel off. She's getting a little crusty, but still holds air good. And the green on it. I was going to say, tell me about that pretty green tint. That green tint is mold and mildew. Um, when we first went and picked it up, I was kind of naive and I asked you I said when did they anodize these things and you said that's not anodized that's just mold and mildew that's how far it was in the dirt when we picked it up that rust spot right there that's how far this bike was sitting in the dirt it still had air in the tires but that's how far it was in the dirt and I've never messed with the rims or anything front or rear when we went to pick it up Oh, you've got the, uh, I'm oh, on I the right side. Right here. It's yeah. got the original air cleaner in it too, which is, I think it's copper. Yeah. When we went to pick it up, let me see here, where was it? That's from my leg rubbing on yeah, it, it was, there. It was right here. Yep, right up It was there. all green like this, and I took my thumb, and I licked my thumb, and I went right there. You can see my thumb rub. Uh, uh, uh. And I thought, when it shined up, I thought, shit, I wish I wouldn't have done that now. <laughs> I felt bad because he said, I'm leaving it exactly like it is. I'm never going to wash it. I'm going to ride it. And he has rode it for how many years now? Oh, it's been seven years now. Seven years. Still has all the green, most of the green to it yep. as far as the mold. My leg is rubbed off corner of the battery box there. And the air cleaner. The only thing I clean on this bike is the mirrors when I get on it. There ride. you go. That's it. That is it. So if any of you know anything out there about a Bendix, if it'll bolt up there, let me know because that'll be my next, if something happens to this. There's a lot of them Tiltsons out there still. It's just people don't tend to, they don't like them. They just, ah, oh, they don't run right and they take them off and they put Bendixes on. I want to try and stay away from putting an external throttle cable. Because that runs down, I'd have to change the hand grip and everything out. And I don't want to go that route. If the Bendix would bolt right up and use that same throttle cable, I'd be golden if I if I had to go that way. So. Well, we probably flooded it, but see if it didn't start. Oh, she you might. She might have flooded her. Throw some fire out of that it's carburetor. It might. Everything you ever wanted to know about a Tillotson carburetor. How to tickle a Tillotson. How to tickle a Tillotson. That'll be a good little, uh, that's what we'll call this video. How to tickle a Tillotson. There you that's go. That's right. Well, thanks for watching. Um, hey, remember to punch that monkey in the throat. And catch that butterfly stomp on that bee. And uh, tell us what you think. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Leave a comment. Good or bad. We don't care. Have a good night. See ya.